Hey guys, Adrian Crutchfield from Saxophone Central. I'm here in Anaheim at the NAMM show on a lovely Saturday. So let's go inside and see what toys we can find to play with. While I had to hang out at home this weekend, Adrian got to go hang out at the NAMM show. You're probably asking at this point, what is the NAMM show? Well, for starters, NAMM stands for the National Association of Music Merchants. And what this is, is the biggest trade show of the year for the music industry. There's a massive convention in Anaheim, California in January, and there's a bit of a smaller one that happens in Nashville in the summer. I think it's in June. What this basically is, is where all of the instrument and accessory manufacturers all across the world show up with all of their brand new gear for the year to show it off. With them, they bring some of the top artists in the industry to demo these products. Don't quote me on this, but I think I saw a statistic for this year that said there was 115,000 attendants for the NAMM show. Many of these people that come are people that are probably your idols and my idols too. Aside from being a huge networking opportunity in the music industry, this is also a place where all the buyers and distributors and whatnot uh, get together with the manufacturers and start kind of outlining their orders for the year. Even though it's a really fun trade show, it's also potentially one of the loudest and most annoying on occasion. I constantly get asked, how do you go to the NAMM show? Well, unfortunately this is something that's a little bit difficult, as you have to be invited by a company that might be exhibiting, um, and it's not typically possible to buy a pass to the NAMM show, although I have seen a few occasions in the past where people have been able to do that. Anyway, getting back to what Adrian was doing this weekend, here's some cool stuff that he got to check out at the show. And the brand new is a Sunset Cafe. This kind of strap with laser, machine brass mechanism. We have the neoprene, neoprene foam with laser, like a like raw fabric. We have the, the pressure model, which is very comfortable. Yeah. 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 straps like this and then you can scratch it to, to wash it. We have um, and we have three finishing the black plating, the gold plating and the only brass like this. Hi guys, just wanted to introduce you to a new strap we did. But please a lot of uh, artists as well on the road. Easy to adjust, fix one move with plastic coated, metal, safe. No noise when you're doing some recording with cotton padded as well, so the perspiration, leather, and a nice good looking, like you have. Take care guys, enjoy it. Hi, this is Rick Keller at the NAMM Show 2020. I'd like to talk to you about uh, Frank Bichon's PG products. Uh, my website is futuresax.com. So first thing, I, uh, I've known Frank for about 12 years, and one thing is he's an amazing uh, innovator in products for saxophone. And one product that uh, basically allowed me to keep playing, more or less, was his neck strap. His innovation with this yoke-style neck strap, which I'll show you here, has um, taken away, basically removed all neck pain that I ever had. So I can't explain it, except that after using it over the course of three months, I had no pain anymore. So I uh, then bought another one. And <laughs> I thought they were great. Uh, also, he makes them with uh, metal adjusters and uh, more elegant. I personally use this one with a little hook because I I'll sometimes have to double and do quick changes, so it's really important to have that feature available to me. But if I'm playing like a gig on one horn, I'll use the one with a snap click uh, clip on it, or uh, he has another metal clip of, of a type that's really good. So once again, this is Rick Keller for BG Products, uh, Frank Bashan. You should go get, look into him and definitely get some. All right, so much new this year. All right, so you remember, last year we re-released the Gaia 3, which had a very innovative baffle on it, right? The shark gill baffle with the ridges, right? 
So now you can see that also in the Ambika tenor and in the Gaia Alto. You also notice that they have a thin body, right? This adds a lot to the resonance. Now the beak shape is still wider, so it's not like having a very narrow, you know, mouthpiece in your mouth, so it still feels really great, but there's this added resonance to the hard rubber mouthpieces, which is just uh, uh, beautiful. Um, so, the Ambika 3, which I love, and we just had incredible responses to, also with the Gaia 3, Alto is new. Every Durga mouthpiece has jumped from Durga 3 to Durga 4. So, that has not changed a lot. It's like the same thing, just better. And I say that because that's what everybody keeps telling me. <laughs> they're like, no, I love the Durga 3. Why'd you change it? And I'm like, well, just try it. And then they come back and they're like, oh, it's like the same, but better. How, how'd you do that? How's, right, so anyway. So, that's what the Durga 4 is across the soprano, alto, tenor, baritone, right? And then Shiva, all right. Shiva has a pretty new baffle on it. The alto is significantly different and the tenor is the same, but different. So their, their more presence would be the, the, the thing I'd say. Not necessarily bright, but powerful, present, big, uh, full body. Uh, so there you go. There's the lineup. I've been very busy in my workshop, uh, and it's been a lot of fun because that's, well, my favorite part of the job. <laughs> And uh, there you go, the new Theowani lineup for 2020 here at NAM. Keep watching the channel coming up as him and I are getting ready to review some of the products that he brought home from the show this year. Looking forward to testing out some really cool gear. Do you want more content just like this? Well, like this video and subscribe to our channel.